All right, this quick little display is uh, very easy. We've got a workbook up and running, and I just created a column of price, quantity, and then I inserted a formula, price times quantity. I've got my discount in there, and I've got a discount amount, which is another formula, just the uh, discount percentage times the, the uh, price times quantity. And then I've got line total, where I come through and I uh, take uh, price times quantity, subtract discount amount. It's very simple and we'll just go in and save it. Now I'm going to click on the file and I'm going to get out here and show you save and send. Though you remember we're running this course on a server and even though we've enabled the desktop experience, uh, sometimes we'll run into issues. There's a way of getting this to work but I don't feel like fooling with it. So if, normally if you were on a desktop you would just click uh, save to SharePoint and then you would browse for a location and SharePoint would pop on up and that's what you would select and then you browse into the document library. What we're going to do though is we're going to come in here and we're going to go save as and we're going to just save it down here to the desktop and I'm going to name it uh, Excel Demo. Uh, let's, no, let's call it R&D Price because I'm saving it into the R&D um, library. And we'll save it and now we've got it. Let's switch on over to the document library. I can get Excel to drop on down and open up our document library. So again, I'm in R&D Excel reports and I'm going to click add new item. And now we see this, if I have multiple items, I could select this upload multiples down in here. And also notice the versioning if I'm bringing things up. So if I'm bringing up the same document, uh, again, I can version it on out. Very nice feature. We'll click browse and we'll go in the desktop and off of the desktop we'll see if we can locate what we want to do. R&D sounds good. We'll say OK. Let her do the pop-up. We can go in and change some stuff in here. You know, we can give it a title, which we will. Um, line item. Alright, and you put your description in here. Notice the pull down in here, the categorizing. This is part of that document library that you created in here. You can change these report categories in your document library, which is really a very handy little thing to be able to do. We're just going to put it in here as generic category one, and then the status of the report, preliminary, etc. And I'll put it in there as preliminary. But these features are part of your report library and are a handy little feature. So we'll go ahead and save. All right, and there's R&D, and if I click it, she's opening now into the browser, and there's my discount amount, etc. Okay, now let's change the report some and get the uh, parameters working. So I'm over here again in Excel, and I'm going to go to the Insert tab, and off of the Insert tab, um, Insert is not correct. Sorry, I'm eons ago it used to be the insert tab but now I go to the formulas tab up in here and I'm going to define name notice down here I've got I'm going to select the discount this is the cell that I want to use for a parameter so if I come down here and define name define name I would pick I would type the name in now I've already actually entered in uh, created this once and by normally if you create this once let me, let me show it to you like here if I was defining a name Define name, you see it picks out what's above it. It's trying to guess for you the name that we wanted. So I came through here and created the parameter named discount. Right? And then what I did was it just to make this work, you'll go over to file, and then you're going to go into save and send, save, save to SharePoint, publish options, and the parameters. And as I said, I've already created the discount up here. And what you would do is you just add, now we've already got discount in here, and if I delete it I'm going to say okay now if I click add there's discount right and it's value current value and I'm going to say okay and again I'll say okay and now I've got that as a parameter now I'm going to say save as and I, again I've already saved it R and uh, D price with parameter and I save it to the desktop let's put another name up in here just so you can see it working two and I'm saving it now let's go over to Excel uh, services and down here we'll add that on in so I'm going to browse 
and browse to my desktop and we created version 2 which is that and we'll call open okay and again I can add a title in here or anything else just like I showed you last time and we'll say save and now here it is with the parameter I'm going to click that and you see the parameter is loaded over in here now the three percent was what was down existing and we're going to change this to 0.02 and we call apply and you see now the parameter changes the value of that cell so that bell that cell now via the browser we have the uh, the people that are interacting with this worksheet have the ability to come in and change the parameter and do recalculations that's all there is to saving a workbook up into Excel services.